Why? Why the wing sweep? In, um, there was a period in the 60s where uh, real high-speed dash capability was considered a requirement in order to either intercept bombers coming in, uh, Soviet bombers, or alternatively to penetrate enemy defenses. So yeah. high-speed, low-altitude was also. At the same time, uh, the uh, – designers or planners, how would you say, the people who set requirements for defense systems decided that we, if airplanes like the F-105, the Republic F-105, they were really fast, uh, but the saying was at the time that if, if you built a runway that went around the entire world, Republic would build an airplane that needed every inch of it. <laughs> and um, so the consequence was of that type of aircraft is that we were getting tied to very large airfields. And so if you have a, a very few, very large airfields, you can ground your entire air force just by cratering some runways. And so at the time it was decided that what we needed is an airplane that could both go very fast and land on relatively unimproved or uh, shorter runways, so you could disperse your aircraft and have them much harder, much harder to neutralize your your air force. And at the same time, uh, McNamara, he was the Secretary of Defense in the '60s, decided that these people in the military didn't really know what they were doing, and that it really was possible to do a fighter, a single design that would do. <clears throat> excuse me do all thing, all roles, really. 